<laughs> Welcome back, everybody, uh, to another episode. Dave is in the house. Um, and today, Dave, which of your guitar heroes, if you haven't already guessed it, yes. are we going to try and emulate using affordable pedals? Rick Parfit. Rick no. Parfit. <laughs> um, of Quatus Toe. Yes. Um, no, of course, it is, in fact... Um, Mr. Slash. Mr. Slash. Himself. Uh, the man. Is there a bigger him. guitar hero in his genre than Slash? No, he's, he's, he's literally the face of rock, isn't he? He just he's is. Just, he is the, it he is. is the when thing. when uh, when uh, a big software company decides to launch a game called Guitar Hero, yes. whose face do they put on the box? Absolutemol. Uh, right. Slightly different start to this video mm -hmm. today. Um, Dave is using an Epiphone Les Paul Classic, which is uh, one of the more affordable guitars in their range, and a Marshall MG50 FX, which is uh, the solid state. Um, 50 watt 1 by 12 combo and when looking at how Slash gets his guitar sound uh, he doesn't really use overdrive pedals he gets all his overdrive from an amplifier and then uses a line booster and wah wahs and various other pedals but but the distortion is fundamentally coming from the amp yep indeed. so we thought we'll have a quick mini segment of this video i.e. now of going Actually, the distortion sound in the Marshall is pretty good. Um, and if we just use a TC Spark Boost and nothing else, maybe we're there. I mean, obviously, we could use wah -wahs and stuff like that to, to, to get mm, closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here is our um, crunch tone on the Marshall. And with the spark. I mean, we could have used the full overdrive. T but, uh, what we're going to do for the rest of this video is just use the clean sound on the amplifier because the kind of point of this whole series of videos is if you've just got a little solid state affordable amplifier with an okay clean tone uh, and you've got a guitar that is kind of roughly in the ballpark of what the artist would use can we uh, grab a bunch of affordable pedals Indeed. and make a slash sound do so when did you become one of Slash's kind of uber fans. That was uh, very early on. I started playing guitar and then literally, whew, crumbs. About three months after I started first playing guitar, my friend got a Use Your Illusions tour, VHS cassette tape. Yes. And it was the, it, it, I remember it was two, it was part one and part two because the gig was like two hours long and you couldn't fit it onto one cassette, so you had to have both. And I remember like the, 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 the video opened with You Could Be Mine and Slash was playing a Mockingbird and that was when my obsession with Mockingbird started. But then it went into a drum solo, Matt saw him doing his crazy drum solo and then it came to a Slash doing a guitar solo. He had this gold top Les Paul and he was just doing this thing and the sound, when he went to the neck pickup especially, I was just like, what is that? And I was just a Slash fan all the time. I was like, I've got to learn Sweet Child of Mine and Night Train and I want to know how to do that. And yeah. So this era of tone, you think we're just going classic, yeah, are we? Yeah, classic rock. Yeah. So yeah, appetite of kind of yeah. era. Okay. Um, I've got two Guns N' Roses stories and you've just reminded me of one of them. Ah. I absolutely remember meeting Slash at like a, a Gibson meet and greet thing and I got him to sign a book that I'd uh, bought, which I mistakenly thought was his autobiography. <laughs> and I asked him to sign it. And it turned out, of course, it was a biography that apparently wasn't very nice about Slash. <laughs> and he was a bit disappointed that that was the book that I'd asked him to sign. Uh, so I apologize again, uh, Slash, if you never got over that. Uh, and my other story was um, I also stood next to Matt Sorum in a urinal once, just saying, just you know, because, yeah, why not? Good anyway, um, so... If you look at Slash's pedal board, typically speaking, you're going to see a Wawa, usually his own Slash uh, signature Wawa by Dunlop, which of course uh, we can't afford in this particular shootout. So we've got some Wawas. You see a cocked Wawa. It's an MXR Q pedal, I mm. think. So just this idea that if you don't want to be literally going like this all the time, but you want that, yeah, that kind of thing. thing. 
Now, the only pedal that I think Anderton sells that absolutely is that is the Electroharmonics Cockfight, mm. uh, which is £109. So in the interest of keeping this affordable, we have not got, but we've got these two pedals, a <laughs> Moa Funky Monkey and a Tone City Funny Boy. Uh, the two sorts of <laughs> things that maybe a parent might call a young child. Um, now, these are both, I think, auto was. So we, there may be a lack of success here because mm. a, an auto was, strictly speaking, emulates the sweep based on how hard you hit the strings Indeed. of a wah, which we don't really want. But we'll see. It may or may not work. Then we have some boosters. We have, um, because I think that the, the, the custom audio boost that Slash mm. uses has been a mainstay of his board for a long time. Yeah. Again, we can't afford that pedal. So we've got a TC Mini Spark and an Electro Harmonics Line Booster. Dave wanted some compressors, which I didn't see on Slash's board, mm. but, but... I had an idea with them. He had an idea. He had an idea. Anybody watch CBeebies here? Anyone young uh, children? Okay. Not me. Um, then, of course, the mm. idea is to... Oh, then, of course, we got a sub and up and a fuzz pedal because he has a signature um, sub octave fuzz. fuzz thing, so it's yeah. an octave up and an octave down mm. with a fuzz built in. And then, of course, we went on a journey going, does anyone know what song he actually used that signature pedal on? And it turns out it's... Uh, slightly obscure the yeah. apocalyptic love solo album that he did in 2012 yeah. apparently has a couple of songs on it but hey um so whether or not this gets anywhere near i don't know and then the rest of it so the glove the golden plexi the blues man those are our three uh -huh. these are like do any of these kind of have that medium driven marshall amp mm. tone yeah, that the, 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 the line booster would go into. Mm. So I guess our starting place should be to choose which of these three gives us yeah. our bass slashy tone. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we've got a chorus pedal and a delay pedal, but I've given up shooting these out yes. as these two always seem to win. So we're just going to go fine. <laughs> uh, this whole series will get boring as we begin to realise that there are specific yes. pedals that always win. Yeah. So I'll do my best to try and freshen it up mm. okay right back in the room um i've lined up our three potential amp pedals and our two potential line booster pedals um to see if there's a combination that works or what uh, so we should have clean Interestingly, in another video that you can go and watch if you want to, Pete and I did like a Marshall plexi pedal shootout video. Mm -hmm. I know Slash isn't a plexi guy, but it's that kind of vibe, uh, which you can go and watch if you click in the link up in the corner there. And the glove and the golden plexi came out very highly in that video, if I remember rightly. So let's start uh, with the glove. It has a shift button that, if I'm honest with you, I can't remember what it does, so we'll have to find out. Probably okay. an EQ thing, but... That's not bad. It's straight off the bat. Straight off the bat. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, and then if I just keep playing, and we'll do it. Uh, down was definitely a bit more kind of. Yeah, a bit more slash. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. The up one went a bit too, yeah. a bit too pokey. Bit more gain, I would say. More because we're yeah. gonna we're gonna oh we're gonna boost, boost it, into yeah. it. I kind of feeling it's like a sort of a yeah sort of a, a fair amount, but not too mm. much, but. Good. Nice. Okay, uh, Golden Plexi. Ooh. A lot more gain, let's just, yeah. and, and a bit brighter as well. Let's yeah. just. I prefer the glove, yeah. personally. The, the Golden Plexi is kind of too. Not quite right. It's brighter, isn't it? And yeah. it probably sounds a bit fiercer than a slashy kind of sound. Yeah. Okay, let's try the blues one. This is a new one, uh, or relatively new for 2021. Are we in 2021? Mm -hmm. uh, this is supposed to be sort of blues breaker-ish, so might be good. Oh, we're good. They weren't kidding about being blues breaker. That's a bit too uh, Eric Clapton. It's too Eric Clapton, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's very... It's not. Very... No, OK, Blues Man, <laughs> definitely a bad decision by me. I just knew it was a blues breakery kind of thing, but I... So there we are. Mm. Forget that one. Uh, so just, we think the glove. Let's just yes. final, final... Yeah, definitely the glove. Yeah. Right. Golden Plexus yeah. looks a little bit too spiky. Good choice, but yeah. that was like... It's always, it's, it almost yeah. feels like we've rehearsed these videos when yeah. the first pedal with everything at 12 is nailed on. Yeah. But we haven't. No. Uh, right, so um, cool. could be a bit of electroharmonics love going on here. Mm. Um, but let's try uh, Spark Into Glove. Yeah. There's an album name, if ever there that's, was that's one. That's a new Spinal <laughs> Tap on, isn't it? There? Seems kind of muddy it up a bit. Yeah, I wonder if like less gain and more tone from the mm. from the basic pedal, but that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Yeah. I think we just got to find we've got to find the sweet spot. Let's try mm. the line booster into the glove. Almost kind of fuzzes it out on the low end. Do you, like, I liked it, it but yeah. okay, no, but you're you're in charge. <laughs> um, let's uh, okay, so uh, go back to the spark. Uh, one sec. Yeah, kind of a fizzes. It's uh, funny, well, isn't it? Low I, end I kind of feel. Herein lies the problem, problem as such, with pedals versus valves. Mm. Valves like more into them. Yeah. And they never really, they just clip and distort in a really pleasant way. Even like the more you load in, I still kind of think it's quite difficult to get like a bad valvey driven tone. Mm. Whereas I think solid state circuits and pedals and stuff like that some just don't like loads of level into them there's this mm. sort of sense so i'm kind of feeling like is it just me or was the best sound we had actually on this here was just the glove on its own with a yeah. bit more gain yeah i mean I, I i was gonna say basically that on its own just cr crank up the gain a bit more sounds pretty good all right well let, let, let's so okay so this is this is going to be a very short pedal board this <laughs> one Still, just just a glove on its own. I, I think the spark with the volume quite low mm. just fattens it a smidgen. Yeah, where it's it's arguably not worth having, but it doesn't make it sound worse, which I think the other ones were like. Ah, yeah. So you mean it just it, it just brings just that up a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. We might. Fine. Do you know what? Let's do this now, all right? Because mm -hmm. I'm kind of feeling. I know you wanted the compressor in for the um, uh, some clean kind of cleany stuff. Yeah, stuff. Yeah. But it might be that what we can actually do is just find that the compressor will be will work instead of the boost. Ah, yeah. Given that we're so sort of marginally applying this mm. at the moment. So right, blues man can go. Everything can go from here. Okay. So as you can see. Um, I've just popped a t two of the compressors in. These are both affordable ones. The TC one is slightly more expensive than the CS400. I think this is about 60 pounds. This is 20 or 30 pounds, something mm. like that. So maybe, maybe we'll the, just the, the see. The Andy Timmons thing of kind of boosting the level, keeping the compression low, just to kind of give it a kick. Is that an Andy Timmons thing? Uh, as far as I know. Who he's knew? The only guy I know. Okay, but, right, so. <laughs> cleaned it up. <laughs>
they're that doing anything to be no. honest you the compressors the the behringer one oh at least like into the glove yeah okay so let's try the let's just see what this does here I think I'm just trying to put pedals on the board for the sake of putting pedals on the board here. I just like the glove. So yeah, we, will, we will have the spark in the mm. thing, but maybe we won't use it. So as we've got the compressors now, are you... No, I know what we're going to do next. Mm -hmm. Okay, this might be a super fast section of the video here as to whether or not these actually do what we want it to do. If not, it'd be quite um, interesting. Well, you know what? It might, it might. I like that. So I think if I Jeez. put the sensitivity on this on mm. minimum, yeah. what happens then is it sort of ignores mm. how hard or soft you're playing yeah. and just gives you the wah sound. Mm. Yeah. So kind of which is what that, you know, micro cue, uh, not micro, the, the, whatever, the, 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 yes. the idea of the, 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 the MXR pedal, pedal yeah, that yeah, he yeah. uses. Uh, let's see if this one does the <laughs> same. We got some switches here and... Right, let's see what happens. So the Funky Monkey is a bit different. Mm. This is not um, working attack sensitive no this is literally just working like a chorus pedal would so yes. so you set how fast you would like so yeah i don't know i mean maybe that's kind of cool as well i put mm. it on minimum to try and see if it would just sort of emulate not moving it at all yeah but let's see okay, like a uni yeah. vibe yeah I don't okay. think that's the vibe. No. Maybe this one is. I really like that color. I quite like that. It's, that's it's in, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah. so that's it. Because these are, again, about 40 quid, something like that. Um, now, I believe it is probably... Uh, we know we've got the angel yeah, wing yeah, and the yeah. flashback that we're just going to dump in for your mm -hmm. floorboard. We've still got this idea of... Some does this do... Thing, yeah. Yeah, okay. So oh, let's, no. uh, let's just see. I'm, I'm slightly feeling a bit stupid here as well, because, of course... If you go and buy these two pedals together, which is a fuzz pedal and an octave pedal, you're not far off of what it would just cost you to go and buy the slash <laughs> yeah, exactly. octave fuzz pedal. Yeah. So maybe this is a, a slightly ridiculous kind of thing. So here's Great, the Marshall though. tones. If you put fuzz over the top, Now, I think you're going to have to play lead line riffs here. So the yeah. seven up is gives you an octave below and an octave above and a, and a sort of a, and a level of the dry signal. So essentially, the three controls here are just adjusting the volume level of those three different notes. So here's just, if I have just the dry signal. 
and then I can add an octave below. Oh. And then I can add an octave above. So it doesn't like it. It doesn't <laughs> like it. Um, what was that? Is that is it Dad's Army? They don't like it up and down. Yeah. I can see the speaker just like yeah, firing I, out the I'm not sure we're getting <laughs> anywhere near a slash tone here. But. Yeah. It is, isn't it? It's it's a fattener. It, it's a tone. I just yeah. don't. It's I just don't see it as slash. No, it's not. Look, there you go. It's definitely more Jack White. Isn't it is it? a bit so, more yeah, Jack White, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, that was a collaboration that uh, yeah. never happened. Okay, <laughs> right. We're moving to the floor and we're activating um, GoPro Cam now because I think I'm out of pedals to show you Indeed. in terms of shootout. So we're just going to build the board. That's the one, that's the one. Does that. <laughs> hey, okay, ladies and gentlemen, just to remind us, we've taken the most affordable uh, range of Marshall amplifiers in the MG50. We've got pr not quite the most affordable, uh, it's the most affordable burst um, Les Paul that you can buy from Epiphone. You can actually go a little bit cheaper than that if you're just mm. happy to have a solid color one. And a range of pedals where I think at best we're up at about 60 or 70 quid per pedal, but most of those mm. pedals I think are under 50 quid. Mm. Oh, they're around about the 50 quid mark. Yeah, but that's... I'm really, really happy with that. I mm. mean, it's like, that is... You know, I, I think with the previous two we've done, we've kind of got in the ballpark. But yeah. now I feel like, what's, what's like even closer like to the ballpark? Are we sort of, you know... On what, the bat. On literally Ish. on the pitching mound. Yeah, yeah, Is literally. that where we are? Yeah. It's flying Not very out good at of baseball. the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, people in America are trying in. So what come on, let's, we've got... So we've got so. a clean tone mm -hmm. where Dave's going to try and use the chorus and the compressor. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's probably it for our sort of, you know, yep. Paradise City type thing, isn't it? But yeah, that's that. <laughs> then net pick up. Uh, yeah, he's... Oh, mate. It's nailed on. Uh, have we ha so we haven't had any wah wah yet. So nah. let's just do glove mm -hmm. for. I mean, that is such a standout pedal for that your basic kind of, you know, how to get a driven Marshall tone out of a relatively affordable amplifier. That is a winner. Mm. Uh, so what, well, give us a, a, a quick. Really happy with that. Yep. Uh, and then I think you just need to do some wah wah kind mm. of stuff. Maybe a bit of delay, whatever you want uh, to do. Yeah, you let's know. put that on, put the spark on. And then with the uh, funny boy instead of the wah wah, mm -hmm. just for the same kind of vibe, you know. I love that, that sounds brilliant.
You know, the funny, that very, very first bit, the funny boy thing reminded me a bit like Money for Nothing. Yeah, it was it more does. that kind of. Yeah. Um, it's got that. Uh, what's, what's, uh, wow! And we just done Martin Offler we are. as well. Just quickly, stop, stop, stop! We can get two videos out of this yes. if we just quit. <laughs> the funny boy, that never happened. Anyway, <laughs> well, well done, Dave. Uh, mission accomplished again, I think. Um, I, think so. I, I, I hope you're enjoying this little mini series of videos that we're doing with Dave. I've, uh, you know, met Dave once before when we did a, an interview and got on well and, and really respect that Dave is really flying the flag for, for you know, guitar players getting great mm -hmm. tone without spending crazy amounts of money on gear. And, mm. um, and you should go and watch Absolutely. Dave's channel anyway if you want to see more of that but yes he's going to come back every so often to anderton's and do this challenge so please in the comment section below again different artists that you'd like to see dave try and put a board together on and we'll see what we can do over time but um mm -hmm. yes thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe and uh, we shall see you next time Bye bye